Do you have a coffee maker like this that's not brewing properly? The fast answer is to take it apart and blow in the hoses, clean this spout in there, and clean the spout underneath the water tank. That's your fast answer. Now if you want to hang out while I show you how I had to take this thing apart, this is where you can stick around. Some of you guys have several different models of the Ninja coffee maker. In this model where this tank is on this side here, it's a little bit more difficult than some of those videos that are out there that show you how to take it apart and clean apart and blow the hose. It's a little bit more difficult than that and they're not very clear about what tools you need. So here we go, I'm gonna show you. So it's all in one video. One, clean out the, the spout for water, all the soap scum. Clean out the bottom of your water tank. Clean out the top of this little water drip, okay? Make sure all this is obviously self, common sense. This is all clean, all this stuff is clean. Not that water can go through quickly and efficiently in anything that allows water to go through, okay? All that. Then on top of that, you're going to open up the bottom of your coffee maker and you're going to blow through the hoses, w one hose in particular, but you might have to do both because there's two hoses back there and it depends on the coffee maker itself. Personally, don't buy a Ninja. Unfortunately, I've had this Ninja two years and you can see how clean it is and it's got the tags on it. I have never been able to use it. What a piece of shit. Fill up, whenever you're brewing, always fill to the top. It needs that water pressure to go down and through the machine. So make sure your water tank is full. The tools I needed. I needed this plier. I needed a needle nose. I needed, you know, if you have glasses and you have to tighten up your glasses, this, fill, this flathead, this one. I needed this one. I needed a Phillips that was really thin and sharp pointed. Okay, and I still even needed my drill with a very thin, sharp pointed drill bit. They don't tell you in all these videos how hard it was to get some of these screws out. It wasn't easy. You're gonna, on this model, okay, this model was harder to work with. So you're going to, which I've already done, you're going to flip it on its side and you're gonna remove this panel. And this panel has about 10 screws. And those tin screws come off best with this baby like eyeglasses and then it co these come in a set, right? So you need to find the one that works best for you. This one, let me see if it says it on there. It doesn't, doesn't say, it does say it on there, but it's hard to, to read. But you need this baby flathead, it's best to have a set this will actually fit on the first 10 screws you're going to remove. This, the screws are a diamond. You can have a diamond bit. If you have one, great. If you don't, then this flathead will work. It will work great. It'll just twist all the way off, okay? The next thing you do when you take off all of those diamond head, star head screws, you are then going to still have to take off some regular Phillips screws. But if your Phillips screwdriver is really fat at the tip, it's not go it's just going to strip out the hole. So be sure it's tight. Real tight. What I say tight is very thin and straight, okay? And you're going to now remove about 15 of these regular screws, okay? So then you'll take this off, okay? Then when you come in here, you to remove this piece, because you can't really get into the 
you can't really get into the hose that's right here. So you have to remove this piece and that's where you're really going to take off the rest of these Phillips screws. And you're going to need to take off one, two, three here, right? Yeah, it has to be extremely fine tip here. I put one back in there so I could check it. If it's not fine tip, you're going to strip it out. Move this out of your way here. So there's gonna be actually two more screws in there that hold the base together. So then flip that back. Then you'll be able to at least move this out of your way. Not all the way off, but you'll be able to move it out of your way. So you can access this pump, this hose, this hose. So you're going to take this, it was sideways. So take your, and then move it around, your needle nose and move it around, right? Take it off of the tube so it's just on the plastic hose. Pull this tube off, okay? Water's going to come out which is why I have a paper towel here. And you are gonna take this hose, okay? And you're going to push in that water spout we talked about earlier. You're gonna push that in and blow through the hose. And blow anything out of it. I also took one chopstick, or you can have, take something long. And what I think it was is not, it's brand new. Nothing was in the way, but when I when I took it straight into this hose here It seemed to me like way down in there The plastic wasn't like opened all the way honestly, so I Did that already take your chopstick or something long really long. Okay, and then now reattach the hose I blew in it so that it's the airway is clear I cleaned everything. I cleaned my spout underneath here. This spout underneath. So now reattach the hose. Okay. I'm going to reiterate one more thing here in just a second. Now you're going to put this all back together. And then it will brew a full pot of coffee for you. For me, this is not a coffee maker I would buy again. I do not think that if you have to buy a coffee maker like this, I do not think that you should honestly have to do that. I think it's been a waste of time and I had it for uh, six months before I opened it. So it was my fault. I couldn't even bring the sucker back. And then it just sat there for a year and a half not being used until I could sit down and really figure out what the problems were. I do not recommend buying this coffee maker. One last thing I want to reiterate, if you stuck here long enough, make sure that your spouts are clean. You can see this is a freaking brand new. This is brand new. It's it's not even dirty, okay? And this spout is super duper clean. There shouldn't be anything stuck in there, but there it was. It wasn't flowing fast and efficient. So, make sure you clean it, move it up and down. Sometimes little particles on new parts will get stuck and lodged. But this brand, heck no, I would not buy it again. I hope this consolidates all the ways that you can work with your Ninja coffee maker on different models, the other models and this one. The other ones are easier to access underneath, but I hope this helps you clean your Ninja and I hope you can see how you blow through the hose and push down on this lever while you blow through that hose to clear any debris through it. Even if it's brand new, spanking new out of the box, this is likely what you'll have to do with the Ninja brand. Don't buy the Ninja brand if you're looking at buying a, a coffee maker. Get something different. Get something with better reviews. Not something you have to tear apart in order to get your first brew. Make sure your drip spout is off when you are moving your carafe around. Here we're going to do a full brew. You see that I've got my water filled up all the way. I suggest you always have a full tank no matter what cup you're brewing. Open the spout here. I'm going to do a full carafe, hit classic brew, and then we'll just wait for it to brew. My first brews were only this, like this amount, no matter what, and then it would just beat five times.
didn't work. It didn't work. After blowing in the hose, look at all the stuff that came out of there. And this is a brand new pot. What is all that stuff? Wow. Wow, I actually got this to brew one pot, and then when I went to record, we're back at doing all that crazy crap, the five button beeping crap, all this. See, it's still freaking taken apart. I spent two and a half years waiting for this coffee maker, giving myself time to fix this sucker, and two and a half years in, fucking $170 or 140 whatever this sucker costs, and we have never had one pot of freaking coffee on this freaking ninja. I don't recommend it. This has spent f at least over an hour in the last two days. And my dad helping me get the right tools and everything like that. Because I thought I had the right tools. And I'm a tool lover. Let me show you what I would do if I had... If it, Man, I'm so disgusted with this product. This is your ninja. If you're happy with your ninja, comment below. But if you're not happy and you're sick or tired of having to maintain like your... This Ninja Coffee Maker, as if it was a vehicle for the price that you got it for, comment below. Let me know how pissed off you are that this is ridiculous. And they should give me my money back. Period. What a waste of my time and money. What a waste. Two years. I've had you two years. What a waste, man. You're such a waste of money. I don't even know who designed you, but that they need some help. Huh? How about that? You need some help. You need some help. You own a ninja, let me know. want to waste people's time don't make a product that wastes people's time I told you if I couldn't get this sucker working it's after it. what a piece of shit product bye ninja you're done you're trash spent an hour trying to fix you been looking at you for two years I've never got one pot of brew, not even one full pot. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you, but I'll never buy a ninja again. Trash. Trash.